Hello, my name is Ron Dorn. I'm a professor of physical geography at Arizona State University. And the purpose of this presentation is to introduce you to playing a video game geovisualization with the Hawaii Physical Geography Lab as an example. My assumption is that you haven't done any of this before, that you've just successfully purchased and installed the game on your computer, there's another website and resource and page that I developed for helping you with both those processes, with the purchasing and downloading. This one's, this pr presentation is all about familiarizing yourself with the video game. So I'm going to start sharing my screen and show you what I see when I see one of the, the Hawaii games. Um, when the Hawaii game starts up, and it takes a while for it to start up, it will begin to heat up your computer. The reason is that the amount of information displayed in physical geography is tremendous. You're getting a mathematically correct view of the Big Island of Hawaii as seen from the top of Kohala. Um, the first thing that I needed to learn how to do, because I'm not a video game player, I'm a 62-year-old professor. I, at last time I played video games when I was working on my PhD and procrastinating, is to learn very simple game things like the escape button on your keyboard makes you get access to the game environment where I'm moving my mouse around to change the camera angle and I'm changing, looking with the scroll device on my mouse, the little ball or it could be a trackball, changes how high or distant the avatar is in the view and moving my mouse changes the camera angle. If you're trying to do this with a trackpad on your laptop, you're probably gonna get really frustrated. Sometimes the trackpads work okay, and sometimes they just, well, for example, I have a Windows 8 laptop that I use for testing for very low-end laptops, and the trackpad drives me crazy. So I just plug in an external mouse, although theoretically, if I had a game controller, I could use a regular video game controller plugging that in as well. So when I hit the escape button, it switches me between playing the game mode and so I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to move the avatar forward and backwards and to the right and to the left. And I'm using the space bar on my keyboard to make the avatar jump. When I hit escape, I go out of game mode and I go into the mode where I can access the menu and the tools and information. For example, I can click on dew point. I can click on rainfall. I can click on the Landsat layer. I can change the inset map that shows the whole island of Hawaii at a different scale, where the jump points, and I'll show you fast travel jumps, are presented with these uh, double circle dots. And I get access to things like settings. So I can change the resolution on my screen to have it be smaller so that there's a smaller view of the game in my screen. I'll go back to a little bit bigger setting so you can have a better view. <laughs> Didn't work. I'll just shoot for full screen here. I'll apply full screen and then we'll keep the full screen view so you can have it in a bigger view. I can also change things like color ramps. So I can change how the dew point looks on the inset map, for example. And I have a different presentation on how you do that. So now the dew point will look different on the inset map. And the rainfall ramps will look different. Um, so I'm going to go back to Landsat and show you um, the map view. I can turn off that map view. I can go in the menu here and turn off the compass. In fast travel, I can jump to the major different locations like the top of, let's go to the top of Mauna Loa Volcano. Mauna Loa is the most volumetrically large volcano on the planet 
and I jump dead center to the center of Mauna Loa here. I'm going to close the view and I'm going to use the scroll bar on my mouse to back out. And now I'm in the giant caldera at the top of the Mauna Loa volcano looking to the southwest. So let me explain the compass rows here. The outer ring of the compass rows shows the direction the camera is looking. So now I'm going to zoom the mouse back into the avatar. The camera angle is looking to the west, but the avatar is looking in a different direction. So right now I switch it so that the camera angle is looking to the southwest and the avatar, I'm sorry, that the, ca the camera angle is looking towards the southwest, but the inner ring is the avatar is looking to the northeast. So you get a lot of information displayed here. The dew point at this location is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Rainfall is 549 millimeters and you get the elevation. Another way to do fast travel is to simply click on the inset map. So let's say I want to go look at a lava flow that reached the coast down here on the Hualalai side of volcano. I clicked on the inset map. I click on fast travel and boom, I'm on the western side of Hawaii where I said I wanted to go. So now I'm going to zoom into this inset map here. And the camera angle is this line coming out of the green circle and it's looking to the southeast. And the compass row shows it's looking to the southeast and I'm standing on a historic lava flow, 1857. And you can see its pathway moving down from near the top of Hualalai Volcano. The last piece of this video that I'll show you is how to fast travel via the helicopter. So I'm at this particular location. If I wanted to fast travel, I can click on the top of Hualalai. Notice that it shifted the latitude and longitude. And if I click airlift, it will take me there by helicopter. So I'm going to speed up the how fast the helicopter moves. And then I'm going to click on airlift. And it will take me with an overview. I can zoom in to the helicopter. I can change the camera angle for what's looking at, but the helicopter should take me up to the top of Hualalai Volcano. And so I can tell you that part of the lab involves you understanding that you're looking at a shield volcano that has very gentle slopes because the lava is quite fluid. But one interesting thing about this volcano is notice that the slopes are a little bit steeper towards the top. This volcano is in a transition from a shield volcano with very fluid lava, and it's beginning to erupt a little bit more thick and pasty lava that allows steeper slopes towards the top of this volcano, Hualalai. And hopefully in this helicopter view, you can begin to see some of the pit craters that have been made by both collapses and eruptions on Hualalai. The reason why you have this stair-stepped appearance is because that's the real elevation data that you can get from the space shuttle and other sources. Notice how the squares are a particular size. Some data are 10 meter resolution, some data are 30 meter resolution, but topography, and now I'm using the space bar to have the avatar jump, and I'm using the arrow keys to have the avatar move. The, reason why it's stair step is because that's real elevation data. We wanted you to get the real data. We could use a smoothing algorithm like Google Earth used, but we want you to be able to have data the way it really exists so you can interpret it. I hope you have fun interacting with the physical geography, whether it's you learning about the dew points and something called the trade wind inversion where it's very dry air up above, or the rainfall patterns where you learn about things like rain shadows on the big island. Enjoy the lab and I hope you enjoy stage zero where I have another presentation on how to interact with the game and do the lab at the same time. Thank you for your patience.